Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to use daily personal expense tracker in Excel. So here you have the details of expenses, under that you have various category. You have the details of amount for each category and the expenses percentage compared to the total expenses. On the right side you have the income, in that you have two heads, uh, the amount and again the income percentage. Then you also have the available balance. The available balance is the difference between the income and the expense and the percentage available. Then you also have the details of uh, necessary and unnecessary expenses. So for example, here we have total expense of 27,153. In this we have the difference or classification between necessary and necessary with the percentage. So this is a summary sheet, but all these inputs are coming from the detail sheet here. So let's go to the detail sheet here. In the detail sheet, you capture the expenses as well as income from column I to K. You capture all the incomes. So for example, here I have the date and then the salary and the other income and the amount. On the left side, you have the serial number, date and expense is something what you capture here from column E to H. So expense type is something which you can actually write what is the expense you incurred and then in expense category you have the drop down whatever the categories you want you can select for each expense and if you want to add more all you need to go to is a drop down sheet and you can add few more here. The same will be reflecting in the drop down and then you have the necessary expenses whether it's a necessary or not expense not necessary for example for me school and fees and necessary expense likewise uh, rent is a necessary expense but again it's depend for each individual it can be necessary for you which may not be necessary for me and then you have the amount so all you need to do is on a daily basis you can capture the expense what you incur here similarly in case of there is any income and same thing will reflect in the summary sheet it will update automatically since I have used uh, the sum function here uh, giving the reference to the sheet detail sheet all information will be updated automatically I hope uh, this video is useful and uh, if you want to use this file you can uh, download from the description I have provided the link there thank you